Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you I can fix Forza Horizon 4 crashing, not launching, freezing, stock, black screen or arrows in general. I've just compiled all the steps that you have to take in order to fix any problems in Forza Horizon. This is what I've tested myself and it works. Uh, some methods for me worked, for some of them didn't work. That's why I will decided to share all these methods with you. And I hope for some of you, one method will work, another one won't work, but it will maybe will work for another person. A method that didn't work for you, but it worked for a different, um, you know, a different viewer. Maybe it worked for him. It worked for that person. So, yeah, that's why I hope you watch this until the very end so you don't miss any step. And I'm going to show you also what I've talked, uh, what I've, you know, I talked with my friend and what he tested. And I'll share with you, you know, what I, uh, everything I know. And make sure you subscribe and now let's jump right into the videos you know, in, this, this in this tutorial, okay? <sighs> now, the first method and the most important one is to head over to command prompt right here cmd so let's me do it in this uh, virtual machine because why not and run the command prompt as an administrator run as an administrator click on yes and here you have to enter this command okay click on enter this is a good command, this will scan your system, it will fix any problems, any errors, any things related to, you know, files that are missing and problems. So yeah, make sure you're doing that wait till the process is completed. And once you've, once the, when the verification has been completed, then what you have to do to move to the next step, I'll just close, is so we need to go to Windows Update, all right? And here in Windows Update, uh, make sure you click you install the latest updates and then you go to advanced options and then optional updates and it, it should be if you see here any updates available make sure you check them and install I'm going to show you actually on the, on the main machine click on advanced options optional updates and here as, as you can see I have a driver um, available and if you see a huge list here make sure you check the boxes all the boxes, check all the drivers available and click on download and install. And here, because we're talking about drivers for an updating, <clears throat> uh, my friend told me that he actually reinstalled Windows, but installing Windows 10 instead of 11. I have 11 installed 10, and then he just used the old drivers, and then uh, that's what fixed the problem for him. Now you can also reinstall, but that's probably the last result, the last option for you. Now make sure you just try all the methods I'm showing this. I'm showing you this in this video, and you can also try. Uh, that's very important is to install DirectX. This is what you need to use to play any game, pretty much important tool. So click on this, install, open file, click on run, and then accept. And then while we're waiting. Click on accept here, check uncheck this box, click on next, and wait for the installation to complete. I'll click on cancel because I already have this on this computer. And also it's just a virtual machine, so yeah. And now the next one, we have to install Microsoft Visual C++. And now click on the install button here. We can install this file. And open the file. Click on run. Here make sure you select install. I already have it on this computer, so yeah, that's why. And now also make sure you install GeForce Experience, so you install the latest drivers for if you have an NVIDIA card. Here I have a GeForce experience and what I have to do is just head over to the drivers page here, click on that and then here click on check for updates and you can now install the latest update 
and uh, there's a lot of advantages, a lot of new features. For instance, because of the new update, I even the new the, the newest driver I installed. Now, if you go to NVIDIA control panel, <coughs> excuse me, you have in a image settings you have this new ch new option video enhancement you can enable and click for x quality it will increase video enhancement quality higher quality levels use more gpu resources so i click on apply yeah uh, there's a lot of uh, features you can get and benefits and um, chances you won't have any problem with any game because you have the latest drivers now another thing that you can do is to go to the game and now click on the game and click on properties and here click on compatibility this method by the way didn't work for me make sure you try maybe it will work you'll never know what if you haven't tried this method and then it, it would work if you would try now what if you try right what if you try this method and it works that's why please make sure you also s all, always try these methods Maybe there's the chance there it will work, so you can enjoy the game. So now so click on change high DPI settings and ch check this box. And as I said, also check all the boxes here. Not all, but only this three. One, two, and three, this one. And click on apply and OK. So make sure you check around this program compatibility mode, disable full screen optimizations, and run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and OK. Now another very important thing is that you uh, force Windows to use your GPU. So go to graphics settings and here click on gra change default graphic settings and make sure you check both of this and then you go through this list and locate the game and click on the game and select options and select high performance. So Windows will use your GPU and also go to power power plan click on it choose a power plan and here select high performance or gaming mode and also click on change plan settings if you don't have game mode or high performance you can click the plan from here obviously that was me who you know named this plan gaming mode there's no gaming mode <laughs> as a default there's no there's no such things but you know and you click it to create create uh, click on create a power plan and here when gaming I guess click on next and he, uh, here's like high performance favors performance but may use more energy but maybe you don't want to create a power plan you can also just change the or the first one that you have and go to processor power make sure is this is select 100% 100% and here is 100% 100%. Now, if you are on laptop, don't put it to 100% on battery. I don't think there's a need. Only if you are plugged in, obviously, you should have to 100%. Now, I'm going to give you another advice. Probably, it's very obvious to you. And it's like a dull moment. But I'm just still going to tell you. It's just close all the apps that are running in the background. And you can also go to the app, go to the game, and go to details and here in details click on set priority to high because so windows will prioritize the game forza horizon 4 instead of all the browsers that you may have or other programs that are running in the background but obviously close the backgrounds apps that you don't need all right so this story is already nine minutes so i hope guys this video helped you i really hope you now i hope really hope now you can you know you can play the game without any problems. And also leave your thoughts in the comment section. Obviously, I can't guarantee you this will work. I'm just sharing with you what worked for me, what I know, what I'm learning. I'm curious to learn ways to fix problems so you can, you know, I can show you on this YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm not an expert, no professional. I'm just sharing with you what I know. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section and what you try to yourself. Maybe it will help someone if you share your experience and watch you try it yourself maybe it will help someone when someone will see your comment so make sure you're doing that and thank you for watching and i hope you're gonna have a fantastic day take care